Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. And today we're looking at the Skywatcher Star Travel 80 EQ1 telescope. And on the face of it, it sounds very similar to the AZ, but quite different in many ways, other than the size of the optical tube assembly. So it comes with, instead of the AZ mount, a EQ1, EQ1 mount, which is perfectly adequate for a, a short tube telescope of this size. Very easy to set up, very easy to move around, and you have your slow motion controls there for your fine tuning. Unlike the AZ version which has a erect image 45 degree diagonal, this one comes with a 90 degree mirror which means it gives an upright image but left to right is opposite. And it comes with, and that makes it by the way much much more easy if you're looking at objects high up and you're not having to bend your neck as much. Comes with 16 magnification eyepiece and a 40 times plus a barlow which takes up to 80 magnification but what I would say is use the 25 millimeter here which I've got in in the eye eyepiece holder already 16 magnification and that will give you some delightful wide field views and you'll find it very easy to learn your way around the night sky just to prove that you don't need high magnification it also comes with a 10 magnif 10 millimeter sorry eyepiece for 40 magnification and a two times Barlow which is a basic one up to 80 magnification so as well as Richfield star clusters some of the brighter galaxy in nebula from a um, nebula sorry from a dark sky area it's also very capable of looking at craters on the moon the rings around Saturn some of its brighter moons and when it comes on to Jupiter you'll also be able to just make out the brighter cloud belts and its four brightest moons. The finder scope, unlike the AZ version which has a red dot finder, this comes with a very nice inverted or upside down image 6x30 straight through and that in itself is, is a very nice mini telescope you could say for picking out some of the um, wide field areas Richfield star clusters etc in the night sky. Also has a piggyback mount there if you want to put a camera on top and it also has a T-thread there if you want to connect a DSLR camera which will make it a 400mm f5 telephoto lens and believe me that can take some really nice images especially if you connect a motor drive to this mount. So that, that's pretty much it. That's the Skywatcher Star Travel 80 EQ1 telescope, very nice, lightweight, affordable starter scope for astronomy, very easy to use and the wide field of view makes your objects very very easy to find. So I hope that helps, thank you very much for watching and please check out the links in the description below.